Yeah, were you ready to film? Yeah, I'll be ready in a sec. In a sec, huh? <laughs> yeah, pig. One second, bro. Bro, how am I fooling my camera? Yo, we're filming or what? Let's go. Shut up, mom! I'm playing Minecraft! Can you not? Film me, dude. I'm trying to work. You just asked me to film you. <laughs> Alright, he claims he can do 14 pull-ups. Let's see how much he can do. Let's go. Yo, I just thought of a way you can make $200, $400 easy money. How? How did you make $400? I'll tell you a different day. I did. Yo, 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 no, 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 come back, come back. Many of you probably thought this was it. We had found the roof, but actually, this is a green screen. We never succeeded. We faked the whole thing. But today, we will succeed. So I saw this guy on TikTok that made a pizza at home really fast. So today we're going to try it. I'm a complete beginner at cooking, so if I can do it, you can. First step is pretty simple, washing your hands. I forgot to do it, so I recorded this after cooking. Now get the big bowl and a small bowl. Pour some water into your small bowl. Get some yeast in there and mix it. Pour some flour into your big bowl, pour some more flour in there, get some sugar, get some more sugar, and a pinch of salt. Now whisk that, while pouring the yeast and water into it after the yeast has sat for 5 minutes or so. Whisk it with your whisker, or with your hands like a beginner like me. Pour some water if you see that it needs it, and keep whiskey. You want to get the right consistency now. Sprinkle some flour on your table now. Now chuck the dough onto the table. Start forming it into a smooth ball. Drizzle some olive oil on the bottom of the bowl. Drizzle some olive oil on your plastic saran wrap. And here, I had an issue. Clearly, I have no clue what I'm doing. I thought I was going to flip the plastic, but then we had an issue with it um, sticking to everything and pouring olive oil all over my table. So, sort of tried figuring that one out. Once the dough's inside, put the saran wrap on. Having some issues here, had to get an extra piece of saran wrap to cover it. Now leave it for around two hours. Sprinkle some flour on a tray and put the tray aside. Put some flour on your table again. And chuck the dough onto the table, again making it into a smooth ball. Once you're ready, put it onto the tray and leave it in the tray for, for around this many minutes. Now sprinkle some flour on your table again. Pop the dough onto the table and start forming it into a real pizza. Now if you know what you're doing, maybe yours won't look like a trapezoid. Sprinkle some sauce carefully to not poke the dough. Make sure to leave a convincing perimeter that will make a crust.
Once you're done grating the cheese and positioning it on the pizza, make sure to season your crust to give it some extra flavor. Pop it into the oven for this much time. Once you get it out of the oven, you'll see a finished product. Let's let everyone give a taste test. <laughs> it's good, but it's not cooked. I just think it's funny that he says that while he shovels the pizza down his throat. It's just ironic to me. So I sat there eating my pizza happily, but then my whole entire family got food poisoning. It was so random. 